Okay, here we'll look at flowering growth cycle of cannabis. And we could see in the picture here that initial kind of female flower starting to uh, be produced at the apical meristem of this branch there. So we're going to investigate just a little bit more about this growth cycle that the plant goes through. So flowering first is induced by an even 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark. The key remembers those 12 hours of continuous darkness. After uh, the change, plants will show visible response in under two weeks. So once you kind of go from those 16, 18 plus hours of light to 12 hours of light and dark, after this change, that's where you're going to start to see at, within about two weeks time, those flowers develop. This mimics the fall season where nights be begin to get longer, which is typically when plants want to begin to prepare flowers to carry on for the next generation. Now, as a plant prepares for fall time, uh, in New England, we have the leaves that turn different colors, indicated by that shortening days. Uh, for cannabis, the vegetative part or phase of the plant will begin to slow. It will still grow. Uh, the stems may still stretch and leaves may still grow, um, but they may produce less blades, and typically uh, vegetative growth will be slowed for sure. This is when plants are needing less uh, nitrogen in their fertilizer program, which is where bloom fertilizers come in. Bloom fertilizers are typically higher in phosphorus, which can be, uh, become integrated to encourage flower production into your um, nutrient reservoir. During the flowering stage is when most of the cannabinoid and terpene production will occur. So keep that in mind. This is considered, uh, flower rooms are often considered the money room, even though it is important to set your plants up well in the, through the vegetative stage. Remember your chosen cultivar, so cannabis rudalis will flower automatically in about three or four-ish weeks of growth, regardless of the photo period. There's some late blooming sativa varieties that may need special care. So again, just knowing your cultivar that you've chosen to grow and all the pros and cons associated with that ahead of time will be best for your operation.